It is 7.01, and uh, we are going to get rolling on this very gray, very mild Tuesday here in uh, what is remaining of the quarantine challenge. It, we are, uh, it, it's a strength day today. Uh, we're doing a, um, uh, one of the final strength workouts of the month of May. So we're gonna do our, our pull complex again. We're gonna kick some ass. It's gonna be a really fun. I really like this one. This is a lot of good stuff here for, um, for your back, for your uh, shoulders, for your arms. It's really, really, really good. And as we uh, go into the month of June and, and um, we more stuff um, begins to open in Oregon and um, this really strange uh, time of stay at home um, isolation is gradually gra gradually brought to a close. It's a great story. It's a great day for the story about um, the butterfly. And uh, the story for today is about a um, a man who has a, a garden, and in it in this garden. Um, uh, there's a lot of flowers and, and plants, and uh, this gardener finds a a, a chrysalis, a um, a cocoon uh, of a, a caterpillar that looks like it's you know going to become a monarch butterfly, but he doesn't he hasn't seen it yet. He's really excited when he when he discovers it because he's not seen a butterfly ever leave the uh, chrysalis or chrysalis and uh, he starts to watch this um, transformation as it happens in real life. So he sees this um, cocoon hanging from a branch and day after day he uh, looks at it, checks it out, um, peers at it, uh, you know, talks to his friends and family about you know, what stage the, the caterpillar is at in its metamorphosis and uh, he's out there one day examining this chrysalis. He's really excited for the change to happen, just to witness it in real life. And he sees the, um, the, uh, the butterfly start to gnaw a hole at the, you know, at the end of the uh, uh, cocoon and it, the, start to like, bite its way out of the, of the, the chrysalis. And the the cocoon is shaking and it's and it's vibrating and it's uh, uh, you know, he, the, the he's really the butterfly is really trying to get out and as it shakes it falls from its you know its perch on a branch and, and lands on the ground and the the guy's watching and he's worried he's like oh no you know the the butterfly is you know might not be able to get out maybe if the butterfly's hurt he stares at the cocoon for a little while and he's like okay um, yeah, geez, you know, he's like, I hope the, the, you know, animal, the organism didn't die in there. And he, he stares at it, you know, and it comes back an hour later, stares at it, still no changes and um, no movement in the, in, the, in, in the cocoon. So he goes and he gets a, a little pocket knife and he slices open the cocoon. And just to see, you know, if the butterfly was still alive or needed help, and when he slices open the cocoon, what he sees is uh, a, sort of the, the you know, 90% complete version of a butterfly. And um, the, the butterfly uh, doesn't have fully functional wings yet. And he, you know, watches this sort of little, the, the bug crawl around for a little while and to, you know, and realizes that you know, at this moment, what probably a lot of biology teachers um, you know know from um, for for a fact is is that the the final act of the struggle of the of the butterfly is what creates this beautiful creature, because what he sees in front of him is like a uh, basically a, a butterfly but without wings. Um, the the wings don't have any fluid in them. They don't have any any body or material to them. So this 
you know, butterfly, as, as he has seen it, cannot fly. And he un, unwittingly destroyed the butterfly's only chance to, uh, to complete its metamorphosis because when the butterfly gnaws its way out of the cocoon and then drags itself through that tiny little hole, the, the, the action of getting through that hole squeezes the fluid from its thorax into the wings and spreads it throughout the wings. So it, it actually inflates the wings and creates the body um, that is capable of flight. The only way that the butterfly is able to fly is if it goes through the struggle of exiting the cocoon, of exiting the chrysalis. So I, I like the, the metaphor and the moral of the story is that the butterfly only becomes a butterfly through its particular struggle. And if it skips any of the stages, if, it, if, it try, if you try to shortcut any of the action to get out of the cocoon and out of the prison, uh, it doesn't. It doesn't fully grow, and it's it's just a, a, a beautiful um, analogy for the fact that your str the struggle that you're in, the struggle that I'm in, the struggle that we're in, is designed to help you grow, and the adaptations and the the metamorphosis that you go through in the process of growing is the thing that you need to become free and become the thing that you were meant to be. If you don't skip a step. If you don't skip a step. So, we're not gonna skip any steps today. We're going to lift some weights. We're going to make our joints feel good. We're gonna have some fun. And we're going to have a really fun strength workout. So, you need some dumbbells, a place on the floor to stretch. We're going to Start off with uh, some shoulder stuff because my shoulders are a little tight this morning. So we're going to be in the kneeling position, child's pose ish. We're going to work on those lats. So I'm going to start off, I'm going to spread all the way out. I'm gonna sit on my feet and then I'm gonna walk my hands out to the right. Once I find a, a, a tight spot, I'm just gonna keep walking as long as it feels good on my outside hand, so in this case my right hand. And I'm gonna get here and I'm gonna breathe. We're gonna breathe for about five or six breaths. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Going out to the other side. Crawling my hands out. Oh man, that feels really good. Breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth. Long, slow breath. Whew. Taking about five breaths, I'm gonna do one more big one. And then, I'm gonna relax, come back to the center. I'm gonna lay down, take my hand, kick it out, kick my foot over my hip, so I'm, my left hand's on the ground, my right leg is gonna come over the back, plant, Whew. Breathing. Wow. 
This is a lot tighter than I thought it was going to be. Huh. Five breaths. And then we're going to go to the other side. Wow. <laughs> Breathing. So I'm not forcing anything when I'm doing any of these stretches. I'm just letting my breath kind of stretch my body for me, especially when I'm stretching the upper body, because I, by breathing in deeply, I expand the rib cage, and that often stretches the source material for the muscles that we're working on. And then we're going to go from the, those rotation stretches, we're going to do some movements with our chest and our shoulders. So I'm going to get in the four point, and then we're going to go do some shoulder circles. So I'm going to push my shoulders apart in this kind of cow position, pushing through my pinky, separating the shoulders. Then I'm going to bring my shoulders up to my ear shrugging them up to the ears. Then I'm going to bring my shoulders together. Then I'm going to pull my shoulders to my hip bones by pulling them away from my ears. And then I'm going to make a big circle, shrugging shoulders up to the ears, together to the hips. Then we're going to just create these circles a little bit faster now. Trying to keep the elbows straight. And then for fun, we're going to reverse the circle. So now we're going to go the other way. And I'm trying to do this without moving my neck too much, so I'm not trying to look up or tuck my chin, but have a neutral neck the whole time. Yeah, really getting the shoulders to move around a little bit, warm up. Now we're going to do the same thing for our, our neck muscles. I'm going to draw a circle with my neck. I'm up on my knees, glutes are on. We'll do five and then you're going to reverse the circle, go the other way. So we've loosened up our shoulders, neck, got things moving a little bit, broken it up a little bit. Now we're going to get those hips moving, going to kick out into a Cossack stretch. I'm going to sit on my toes or sit on my foot and then I'm going to put my hip over my knee and I'm going to go back and forth 10 times. And on the 10th one, I'm going to lift my foot up off the ground. Same thing with the other side. Sitting. 
I really like the way that this stretches the sole of my foot on my bent knee back here. Really stretches that foot in a way that it doesn't get stretched that much. Then I'm going to lift and tap. Aha. Now we're going to put it all together, all those muscles, in a um, lateral lunge and walk around. So I'm going to be here, double wide stance. Hands going to come down, touch inside the heel. I'm going to walk out, walk all the way back. When I come inside, I'm going to rotate up to the sky follow my hand with my eyes, come back out to the plank, come back in, follow the hand with my eyes. Whew. So we're stretching our groin, stretching our hamstrings, using our upper back, warming up our shoulders and triceps and biceps, really doing a little bit of everything here. I'm going to do one more per side. Ah, Whew. Lots of snapping, crackling, and popping in my body. So we're going to warm up our pull complex with some rows, upright rows, and curls. So you're going to do a few reps to, as practice just to get the form right. So if you want to be at home, follow along, you're going to do about five reps per exercise. So we'll start with the bent row. When I do the bent row, I'm going to reach my hips way back. My chest is going to be gently lifted. My back's going to be flat, not arched or rounded. And then I'm going to pull up heavy pants, squeezing my shoulder blades together at the top. Really accentuating that rowing action, pulling through my pinkies, and then going slow and controlled on the way down. So focusing on all of those aspects of the row, getting ready. Then we're going to do an upright row. Again, back is flat. So when I'm here in the upright row, I'm going to squeeze my glutes and I'm going to drop my rib cage. So it might feel like I'm leaning forward a little bit, but I'm really not. Elbows are going to be in front of the wrists or higher than the wrists the whole time. Pulling the dumbbells into my chest. Squeezing those glutes the whole time. Don't forget to breathe, that's important. Five reps just to get those muscles warmed up, that pattern warmed up. And then we're gonna do curls. Today we're gonna do hammer curls. So instead of traditional curls, our palms will face in. So my palms will face each other the whole time. I'm gonna go one second up, about two seconds on the way down. 1,000. 1,000, 2,000. So we're going to go five reps. Again, back is flat. Glutes are on. Everything is really working overtime here. And then 1,000, 2,000. Make sure you're counting on the way down to give yourself the benefit of that eccentric phase where you're really breaking down the muscle. So again, I'm going to use weights that are more appropriate for sets of eight. Now, if you are at home and you only have light weights or you have really heavy weights, modify. So maybe you should do sets of five. Maybe you should do sets of 10 or 12. That really depends on how big a weight you have. That's the uh, pull complex. The second part of our, our circuit, our, our superset, is a Romanian deadlift. 
a single leg Romanian deadlift. So I'm going to have my, uh, my left foot planted. And I'm, we're doing this to target all the muscles of the posterior chain and the abs at the same time. Because whenever we do one, a one-legged exercise, we're really working on our core to stabilize our hip and spine. So I'm going to drop back. I'm going to squeeze my glutes and drive my hip forward. So my butt drops way back, and then I'm powering forward. My toe is just resting on the ground here. I'm not putting any weight in my right foot yet. As I go through, I'm going to do five reps on the left just to warm it up. Boom. Five reps on the right. One. Two, three, four, five. So really accentuating those, that glute squeeze at the top to get the most out of every action. So we're going to do four rounds of this circuit where we're going to do rows, upright row, curls, all in a row, and then we're going to do our single leg Romanian deadlift. So the goal is to um, make it more challenging as we go. So I always think of each set as like a warm up to the next set. I'm gonna do eight reps, so we're, we're prescribing eight reps for every exercise. And if you need to do a little bit more because you have lighter weights at home, that's fine. We're gonna do four rounds, and I want it to be more and more challenging as we go. And I'll talk about how to do that with the tempo because we don't, probably don't have a lot of weights at home. But uh, let's get this, Let's get this party started, huh? All right, I'm gonna rest about maybe 45 seconds or a minute in between sets. You can go with me or you can go faster, that's fine. We're starting, meow. So the goal here is to build muscle, so we need to focus and get that high quality movement in. 1,000, 2,000, 1,000, 2,000, 1,000, 2,000. 1,000, 2,000, 1,000, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 1,000, 2,000, 2, even on the upright rows, the tempo counts. Seven, eight, and then hammer curl. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Whew. So when I start to go into my single leg Romanian deadlifts, I'm going to grab one weight, make it a little bit challenging, pop my hip back, really focused on how far I'm traveling backwards with that glute, with that butt, five, squeezing my butt, driving the hips forward, six, seven, eight. Other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. Getting a little bit of rest here. So, as you go through your movements, some things might be more difficult for you, some things might be easier, 
it's not good or bad. You're just figuring out what your body is good at. And we, what we want is to spend time on those things that we're good at and make it more challenging. And the things that we're not as good at, spend time focusing on the technique and being really present for that so that we get the most out of every rep because we're gonna benefit a lot from that too. I'm going into my second set now. Starting with that row, butt way back, shoulder blades together, nice and controlled down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, standing up. All right, Steve, you better get those hands below your knees, otherwise it doesn't count. If you're doing a row, I want you to get that row going. One, two, and then when you're doing an upright row, yeah, then you pull your hands into your chest. Three, four, one, five, six, seven, and eight. So, moving through. Woohoo! Two, three, four, five, one thousand, two thousand, six, seven, eight. So I'm gonna take both of my weights. I'm gonna use them on my single leg Romanian deadlift today. See if that helps. See if my form can stay good. We'll see. One. Two. Three. Cool part is, is I have a camera in front of me. Four. I can see it. Five. Six. Seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ha ha. So my biceps are getting a little tired, hand grip's getting a little tired. We're training our balance, our grip strength, arm strength, upper back, all those things are happening right now. We're coming up on round three. You might be a little bit ahead of me or behind me. Whew. I'm gonna go up and wait. We'll see how that works for me. If you need to go make this more challenging, go ahead and do some extra reps. Do 10 or 12. And maybe make sure the tempo is good. So make sure you're slowing down that time under tension. So you're really getting the most from every exercise. I can feel this, especially when I go slow, in my shoulder blades on the way down from the upright row. So there's a lot of good stuff here, but we just want to make sure we're taking our time to get it. Are you ready, Bootsy? Yeah. All right, third set. Going into that row. But way back, 1,000, 2,000. Good, even tempo. Two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, one thousand, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
eight, one thousand, two thousand, one, one thousand, two thousand, two, one thousand, two thousand, three, one thousand, two thousand, four, one thousand, two thousand, five, one thousand, two thousand, six, one thousand, two thousand, seven. 1,000, 2,008, ha! Single leg remaining deadlift. Trying to not put my foot down, we'll see how that goes. Make it a little bit more challenging. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Whew. Yes. So that was three rounds, really feeling it, especially in the beginning of the bicep right here at the base of the elbow. Tendons are tight, that's good. We're getting all the right spots. That's the final set. So now's the time to really push it. If you wanna do some extra reps, do them here. If you wanna go a little bit slower, get a heavier weight, whatever you have available, go ahead and do that. You wanna make this as valuable as you can for your body. This is our fourth set, this is our final set, last set, set. of this round. And then we're gonna move on to our second pair of exercises after this. So this is our focus for the, for the day. So we're spending a little bit more time here, but we're gonna attack it. And then we're gonna be ready to uh, move on and grow through the rest of the training. So. Final round, make it look good, make it feel good. Only use the valuable reps. Butt back, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, up high, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, glutes on, one thousand, two thousand, one, one thousand, two thousand, two. 1,000, 2,003, 1,000, 2,004, 1,000, 2,005, 1,000, 2,006, 1,000, 2,007, 1,000, 2,008, single leg Romanian deadlift. Yeah, baby. Finish it strong. Get those butt cheeks strong, those hamstrings strong, too. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Whoo! Yes. Holy arm workout. So much good stuff. 
I'm going to lay out my equipment for my next exercise. We're going to be doing thrusters from the ground. Sorry, thrusters while we're standing and swimmers from the ground. So in this next round, we're going to have weights in our hands. We're going to drop down into a squat, explode up, go overhead, all in one motion. So we're here, deep squat, pushing overhead. That's right, that's right, Reba, yes. Very good. So you're gonna do, give me five or six reps there just to warm that up. And then we're gonna go to the swimmer, which is for our shoulders and upper back. So I'm gonna be lying on the ground, reaching overhead. My eyes are looking just 12 inches in front of me. I'm in this perfect push-up position, but I'm not touching the ground. Pulling the elbows towards the hips, rolling through, really decompressing that neck, exercising that, those upper back muscles here. Fingers splayed wide, really, really going for it. Oh. So we're gonna, we're gonna do 10 swimmers, or sorry, 20 swimmers and 10 thrusters. And this time, we're gonna shorten up the rest period just a little bit. We're gonna go a little bit faster. I'm gonna spend about 30 seconds of rest every set and with no rest in between the exercises, but you do you. So you're gonna go for you, what makes you feel good. All right, I'm gonna do my 10 thrusters. Hands up, doing a good squat, all the way down, overhead, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woohoo! Back to the swimmer. Twenty reps. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Ha! Whew. So really working on the shoulders, really working on the upper back, arms, triceps, all those things. We work pretty hard today. So we're gonna be moving at a pretty decent pace. I'm gonna rest about 10 more seconds. Then I'm gonna go back to the thruster. Starting in five, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, ha. From here, back to the ground. One, two, three, four, five. Focus on the purpose of the swimmer which is the length in the spine. Get the elbows to your hip bones. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 
20. Ha ha. Woo. Now, we have one more set left in this circuit. We're gonna attack that set in about 20 seconds. So get some water, become prepared. That is really hitting me, so I'm happy. Happy with the workload today. Hope you're feeling good as well. Starting in five, four, three, two, thrusters. Last set. set. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. To the ground. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 20. Ha. All right. Oh, wow. We are really, really working those, that upper body today. And this next exercise is no different. No different. So I'm gonna be kneeling on the ground on this one. What I want you to do is practice a couple reps. We're gonna be in the full kneeling position. My knees are on the ground. I'm separating the pad, pushing my knees apart, squeezing my glutes. So it's gonna make me very tall and it's gonna keep my abs on the whole time. And from here, I'm gonna do a couple of things. The first exercise is triceps. So give me five reps, warming up these triceps. Elbows get pulled in on the way down and the way up. We're really focusing on that development of the lateral head of the humerus. So make sure that your elbows are not flaring out. Then what you're gonna do from the same position is you're gonna go overhead press. So we'll do five reps from here. So glutes on, one, two, my palms are facing forward, three, four, five. So we're not in a hurry. I was a little rushed to that warm up because I just wasn't focused. So what I want you to do, we're gonna do three sets of 10. We're not gonna really rest too much in between these exercises, so we're just gonna keep going. So choose what's right for you. If you wanna use a lighter weight, use a lighter weight, but keep your form really, really good. Don't hurry through this. Even though we're not resting, we're not hesitating. That doesn't mean we're trying to go fast. All right. Three rounds, 10 reps each, three sets of 10. That's just 10 more reps, and then it's time for abs. Okay, 10 reps. One, two, three, four. Five, glutes are on, rib cage is down. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
From here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, glutes are on, eight, nine, ten. Back to the beginning. One, two, three, four, five. Woo! That's too heavy to go nonstop. That's really burning. So, back to it. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wow. Second set, tricep overhead extensions. Ten reps apiece, making everyone count. Now we're going into the overhead press. And I'm gonna do that for just one weight. One, two, three, four, five, glutes on, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. You got one more round. One more round to go all the way through. I'm gonna grab some water before I do this. Last set. Best set. Ha Lusa. Ha Lusa. Remember, it's Ha Lusa, not Yakuza, Chris. Want to make sure that we're not calling we're calling out the right names in vain. Okay, finish it strong. Triceps, get some. I gotta water those triceps so that they grow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wow. Ha. Really feeling that. Thank you, Tiny Weights, for a really wonderful experience in the quarantine, quarantine challenge, quarantine challenge that has burned me, blasted me, left me begging for more. Okay. We're going to crush our abs. We're going to do three rounds of abs. We're going to do uh, mountain climbers for 10 reps a piece and then the alt leg V up for 10 reps a piece. So we're not going to rest. We're going to go through it at the pace that you can go through it. That makes sense for you. Mountain climbers, same side. The knee is going to come to the same side of your body that it started from. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then I'm gonna do an alt leg V up. Lying on my back, one leg up in the air. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, ten. Ha. So, back to back, no rest. We're just going from one to the other. One round down. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Shoulders stay past the wrist. Nine, ten. From the side, all leg be up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, last set, last set. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Warriors is about Mental toughness as much as physical toughness. Focusing on every rep. You just have to do one good rep and then one more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. All right, we don't have a lot of time left. We gotta do our movement, our homework movement, our dessert, which is lunges, four points, and archers. So the lunge, stepping down. I'm stepping into the lead leg. That's a little hard. I need to take a smaller step, Josh. In order to be successful, chest stays up. Stepping in, going 10 per side. The toe pulls back to me. That was three. Dropping through. Four. Getting through. Five. Six. Chest is up. Seven. Whew. Eight. Nine. Ten. Four points. Keep that back flat, Reba. Knees close to the ground. I want to stay strong there, yes. Remember, it's not about moving the hips and shoulders, it's about moving just the leg. One, two, three, four, five. Touching the inside of the foot. Six, knees close to the ground. Seven, eight, nine, ten. From there, going into the archer. Get those knees closer to the hands there, Steve. I can see you. All right. Archer, planks. I'm up high. Fall in the hand with the eyes. Both sides is one. Hips stay at the same level as the shoulder, maybe a little bit lower. Two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten. It's 7.58 as we slide into the finish line, power slide into the finish line, just in the nick of time. The, just in the nick of time. Everything happens in the order it's supposed to happen in. And sometimes we want to interrupt nature and take control and lose faith. We want to open up the cocoon by force when we're not ready. We haven't figured out how to pull ourselves through the hole yet. We haven't figured out what we need to grow. So in this time, man, I've been looking at my mindset and the thing that is my growth point in the last couple of months. I'm really seeing how much I have to learn, how much I have to grow if I'm just willing to go the long way and chew my way out of the cocoon and pull myself to freedom and to victory and become a monarch butterfly. Mixing metaphors there, I don't know what's going on, but uh, that's, uh, that was a great workout. Coach Josh, training for Warriors Portland, helping you become a butterfly as you bring out the warrior within. You're so happy when you see yourself. You're just, you're like, oh, it's me. I really do love me. <laughs>